He's healing. Reese thought as he struggled to stick to the trail. He had been following it for nearly six miles. The blood was less frequent, but Reese still had his paw prints and scent. I need to find him. I need to know why he's after my mate. Then Reese hit it. It was some kind of invisible barrier, but instead of stopping Reese in his tracks or making him bounce back, it cut off his senses. Not entirely, but he couldn't smell the wolf anymore. He could barely see the prints on the ground. He couldn't even hear his own breathing. Ragged as it was from anger, frustration, and his sprint to find the rogue wolf, something wasn't right here. Warlocks. But Reese hadn't encountered this warlock before. This was the work of someone much stronger than the warlocks at Riley's pack. This was the one true enemy, the one Reese needed to find. Go back, a voice rumbled in the air around Reese. What do you want with me? Reese demanded. You are irrelevant to me, wolf. The voice vibrated through the air. It sounded like it was coming from right next to him, but there was no one else around. I am the alpha of this land, Reese growled. What do you want here? I think you know that, the voice chuckled. Are you the one who keeps coming after my mate? Reese searched for the source of the voice. Why not? The voice was pleased with himself. He seemed to sense Reese's distress, even as he remained composed to the outside eye. You don't want her. You can't have her, Reese screamed at the voice. Is everything all right, Alpha? Vincent asked as Reese approached. Everything was not all right. If the voice that Reese had heard was behind all of this, then they weren't after Reese. They were after Trinity. And they were more powerful than he thought. But why? What could they possibly want from her? Reese would find out sooner or later. Just thinking, Reese answered Vincent. How have things been here? No problem, sir. Not only was Vincent a good family man, but when it came to his job as a warrior, he was one of the most capable of the pack. Reese congratulated everyone's efforts on keeping Trinity safe. I don't want the Luna to know about the attack or the lengths we went to protect her, Reese commanded. Not yet, anyway. Might I ask why you're keeping it from her? Vincent carefully probed. She would likely not be very happy were she to find out. Don't worry, Vincent. Reese laughed. I know how much the Luna hates being left in the dark, but there's something I haven't told you. Reese pulled Vincent aside. My suspicions were confirmed. There are powerful warlocks behind this. And they're coming for the Luna. Until I can be certain of her safety, this is going to be her last day out for a long time. We must keep her safer than ever. I can't risk putting her or any of our warriors in harm's way. She isn't going to take that very well. Vincent grimaced at the thought. Might I suggest something, sir? Reese nodded. As much as he hated to admit it, Vincent understood Trinity. He spent more time with her than any of the other guards. If tonight is to be the Luna's last night out for a while, why not make it a night to remember? What do you mean? It's unlikely that our enemies will attack again tonight. They're going to want to regroup and plan. Take the Luna to some trusted locations in the city. There are several places that are run and staffed by wolves. Reese nodded. Vincent was right. Little Bunny deserved one last hurrah before going back into confinement. And it wouldn't hurt for Reese to cushion the blow before he delivered the bad news. He hated having to make her stay inside like that, but he wanted her to be safe. A few calls and you could have everything set up to enjoy a quiet, worry-free night with your mate. Station guards outside Gina's boutique and Lawrence's restaurant, Reese commanded. By the time Trini was finished with her exams, everything was ready for them to go on their first date. Reese? Trini was surprised as she walked out the door. What are you doing here? Well, these guys have been here all day, so I thought I would check up on them. Reese smiled. Looks like I got here just in time for you to wrap up. How did you do? 
Fine, I think. Trini must have been nervous to say so little about something she'd worked so hard to accomplish. Well, since I'm here, I want to celebrate with you. Trinity looked up at him. I want to take you to dinner. Reese took a few steps closer to her. She turned to Reese and nodded. All right, I am a bit hungry after all those exams. Good. Reese took her hand and pulled her to him. Did you have a busy day? Trinity asked. You can say that. Reese wasn't ready to tell her what happened. Hmm. Trinity hummed as she caught his meaning. Where are we going? She asked as Reese turned left toward the city rather than taking the winding road in the direction of the compound. I told you. Reese smiled as he watched for Trinity's reaction out of the corner of his eye. We're getting you ready for dinner. Want to know what happens next? Click on the link in the description below to watch further episodes of Chosen by Fate, Rejected by the Alpha.